How aren't most mothers traumatized when they give birth, and want to give birth again? Hormones To offset the pain of birth and negatives of pregnancy, women's brains are absolutely flooded with happy hormones. I am traumatized. One and done. A friend of mine once said she never understood why any woman would want to give birth to more than two children. Because after the first, you think, well, it can't be any worse than that. Then after the second it's, what the hell was I thinking? My friends with kids joke that you forget how painful it is after a few years of playing with a cute kiddo, and only realized their mistake once they're giving birth again. How most women I know describe the process. OMG, I'm gonna die, this was definitely a mistake. Asterisk baby gets out asterisk. This wasn't so bad, I could actually do it again the Maui. Rinse and repeat, pregnancy sucks way more than birth. Epidurals are magical. To be fair not every birth is traumatic. My birth was fine. The worst part about it was the uncomfortable hospital bed when I was trying to sleep. No screaming, just a lot of deep breathing and intention moaning. Contractions got up to like really bad period cramp level and then I got an epidural and felt no pain. Bit of blood when the baby came out but I was way too distracted by the baby to care about that, and blood doesn't bother me anyway. I'm still not sure I want to have another one, though, because pregnancy itself is so hard on the body. I'd give birth again though. It was pretty cool. My wife has had two births. She didn't find them painful. She described it as pressure instead. She also knew that the birth itself would be temporary, while the joy of having the child would last her whole life. Honestly because while giving birth was the single most painful experience of my life, holding my baby's five seconds after it ended was the best. Also, as a mother expecting her child, my experience was so much better the second time. You have no frame of reference for the first time you go into labor and it's chaotic and painful and you feel like it will never end. The second time though, I knew the sensations I was feeling and knew the stage I was in. I'm not even worried about it the third time around now. People do painful things all the time if it's worth it to them. Pain itself isn't something to be afraid of. Otherwise people would never run marathons or climb mountains or get tattoos or fall in love. Additionally, every woman's birth experience is different. Some women do have a really rough time and it can be traumatizing. I had two kids and for me birth was uncomfortable but not really painful. Not a lot of screaming, and I didn't see any blood. After my second was born I felt like I could dance all the way home. Nature and flood of hormones has a way of making a woman forget all of pain and stuff after getting the baby put in her arms. If nature didn't do that, then every woman would stop after just one and it would be a lot less populated right now. I gave birth and decided never to do it again. The pregnancy, the birth, the postpartum depression, my partner becoming a completely different person after four years when our son was born, it was all enough to make me decide to never have another child. I got my tubes tied. Literally the second my child was in my arms I forgot the pain. If it hadn't been for the fact that I am a victim of obstetric violence I would have likely had more children. It wasn't the childbirth itself that traumatized me, it was the abuse I experienced at the hands of the hospital staff. I sometimes still have nightmares about it. Did you ever fall and scrape your knee while playing? Or cut your finger while doing something? Did you stop playing? Did you stop doing your project? Pain stops and life moves on and you continue to live it pain that you are prepared for is less traumatizing than sudden unexpected painful events. Tattoos hurt, but it can be tolerated because you go in knowing it's going to hurt. It's rarely a traumatic experience. Being in a car accident is very traumatic because you didn't know it was going to happen. Birth comes at the end of 9 months of pregnancy, there is little excuse to not prepare yourself. 
women who don't educate themselves on the process, and there are plenty, are more likely to have a traumatic experience. I probably read 10 books on pregnancy, birth and rearing an infant before and during my first pregnancy. I talked to other mothers, I watched shows about birth, I even talked to nurses and midwives. There were no surprises in either of my children births. Because that pain is temporary but the happy feeling of the baby is forever. A bit like getting in a tattoo in the sense of pain, you get your tattoo it's very painful but you're ready to get another. My mom was traumatized but just decided to do a better job advocating for herself at the next birth, a massive gamble that I'd never have chanced, but it worked in her case. Damn shame that she had to go full Karen just to get an epidural, but if you aren't strident, they'll fob you off and tell you you don't need one. Nature can't let women consistently get traumatized or else they would be good parents to their child, the child would die, and the bloodline would end. Honestly I had an epidural with induction, pitocin, and both of my deliveries were less traumatic than some poops I've had. Super easy. I dozed on and off while the meds did their thing. With one, I was chatting with my mom when the nurse came in and told me the baby's head was part way out. I gave one slight push and that was it. I felt completely normal afterward the epidural wore off. My mom has easy labors too and we're built pretty similar, so that probably helped. But do I talk about this? No because it's really daoushi if someone else is complaining about their labor. I'm not the only one keeping an easy labor experience to myself. There are lots of us. Are movies going to show labors like mine? No, because they want drama. Also, often the directors and actresses haven't experienced labor for themselves or seen someone go through it, so they just make a scene like what they've seen in other movies and TV shows. Evolution.